Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to a brand new series to the channel. Uh, they, they, this is going to be the Empire Total War Naval 1v1s. We are playing with the Darth mod, so there are a couple of units tweaks here and there because they're really an overall overhaul mod and the links will be in the description. And this series is going to be just that, naval fights using this wonderful mod and this amazing game since the Sega and Total War has really thrown naval battles out of the water and we have no idea when they will come back. We will be t uh, quenching our thirst with these colossal clashes. And I wanted to start again with Portugal. We will have plenty of different options, plenty of factions and countries fighting each other. You guys leave all your suggestions, what ships you want to see, which, which faction against who, and we'll do them all. And we are p starting with the Galleon because I wanted to showcase the real difference between an actual Galleon and a Carrack or now. Because in Shogun 2 Total War campaign that we are playing and the video that I've done, it's not actually a Galleon. The modders called it a Galleon, but those ships are really Carracks. Huge ocean going with uh, towers both ends of the ship, less cannons but more storage capacity for more merchant trading goods and stuff like that. This is what a Galleon really looks like already firing a bit from the front against our enemy which will come down in shortly. So these have 60 cannons, 20, 231 soldiers, so you can see how the ship is actually different. No big castles in front or the back, much more streamlined, heavier, still very slow with the Portuguese flag from the 17th century where the, this game goes and this is what a real galleon looks like. The destruction of the early modern period in the seas for the Spanish and the Portuguese and they were slow powerful and deadly and we are facing against the pirates and I thought it was gonna be fun because the pirates have a unique ship as far as I'm aware that is the race built galleon this is a smaller galleon as obviously you guys can see that a lot much less soldiers much less cannons but still very deadly these ships are incredibly good at capturing trade vessels or smaller ships because they have very good hull strength they are more maneuverable and their firepower is still amazing and I absolutely love their style look how this goes like low here and then it goes up proper pirate ship absolutely love it you can even see the crew really look like ship look at the captain here looking not in the right direction but we will we'll, won't hold that against him he probably just drunk on rum but there you have it guys I'm so excited to start the new series I absolutely love this game I play it a lot in my free time with the mod because it allows me to play as Portugal in a campaign and other other ones because Portugal uh, you guys probably know I do like Portugal a lot as playing games goes because it's a very different uh, strategy and uh, challenge. But there you have it. We'll start properly because this is in slow mo and we'll see how this Goliath, the Galleon, can do against the pirates. The tr were yeah, we can do a little like thematic, right? These pirates were like trying to raid our merchant ships, and then this Galleon like had the mission. To actually take them look all the soldiers going up the marines the sailors so cool and we'll get really close so we'll see good broadside either way our soldiers ready fighting with the gunpowder oh, and there's loads of different fire there's normal one to do the whole damage break the sail so the ship stops and this is the grip shot kills more units let's see oh! Look at the ship! Look at the hull of the ship! Oh, oh they lost two cannons, ten soldiers. Alright, alright. Now let's let's use the wind. Wind is incredibly important in this game. But our ships are much slower. Look at this. Ah yeah, the one thing is pretty cool. Quick insert. Look at that! Look at look at this! Look at this! It's so cool, right? Amazing! Love it, love it, love it. Oh, come on, come on, turn, turn. Oh yeah, and uh, obviously this is the first video, so the format might still change. I will try to put the uh, statistics of the units on the description if you guys really want to check them out. But you, you, just the big ones, the, the guns and the size of the ship and the soldiers really give you a good idea of how things are. What is this guy? Opposite to the wind. Alright. Yeah, they're far away, so they're still hitting us. 
Super bonus set. See, you can actually break masts and stuff. And the ships do blow up. There's loads of cool um, animations. Turn this way now. Make sure we utilize our broadside as effectively as possible. If we get, I think, if we get close to them one more time, we should be able to destroy it. You guys saw the damage that a close broadside did to their ship. Very sturdy. That's why it, it holds up. I, lo I, I love the design of this. I really could. I wish more nations could recruit them. I, I really only think the pirates can, which is a shame. Oh, they are coming to us, so we could just wait a bit, but we will fire one broadside at them at least. Come on, let's, let's watch you destroy it, let's watch you do it, don't stop now. There you go, there you go. Ah. That's gonna be bad. Can't tell which which. Well, which, to be fair, that would be the smart play for them. Stop our ship so they can actually like maneuver and like use their speed to the advantage. That's one thing though. Like naval battles with this ship, with slow ships, can be s slightly long. But. Again, let me let you let me know what you guys prefer. If you rather just see the action, or if you don't, if you like to see all this maneuvering. We need to try to get close to them. Let's try to do that. But if it's against the wind, it's gonna take us absolute ages. Look at them firing. But the ship still pretty good. No real damage, just a bit on the sails. Oh no, they got us here good. So we can even see inside now. That's all right. We're gonna get into close range, and then our broadside is gonna be that the stadium. They are get oh, so cool that we have like ships in front. Actually, let's try to get the wind again. Wind, and they're gonna go get close to us. So actually, stop. Because if we stop and let them, then we can reposition ourselves. But we will see another close volume. Sega needs to make another like early modern Total War, a fighting shot Total War, something 16th century onwards, so we can start having like better engines. Imagine this, but like imagine naval battles with the quality of like Warhammer or Warhammer naval battles. Like who knows? They might get that. They probably will make like a DLC out of that eventually, or just a game in general that will tie in. I, I can see them doing that. Money after all, isn't it? Let's go, let's go. Yeah, the ship's getting battered. Bit. Let's pass forward. 
Yeah, let's jump. Oi! Ah, they missed us. They are doing some damage. Kill 10 of us, 5 of our cannons are gone. But look at their ship. Look how many soldiers are dead. Better. That's what you get from like praying on our trade ships, bastards. A bit smart. Ooh, fiery. They they're doing some damage. See, this these guys are sturdy. Very very sturdy. Oh, come on, come on! No 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 no! Why take so much to, to turn? Just turn. I mean, yeah, it's like, I, I get what I say. Sounds a bit stupid, but just turn, man. Just turn. Ah, that's one thing I don't really appreciate about naval battles is the annoying position. But that makes up for it. I know we're playing them, I mean like actual like having newer games that had them. And don't get me wrong, historical types still have them, but they don't have cannons, so it kinda like eh. If the ships don't have cannons, what's the point? Isn't it? What is the point? Okay, okay. Have we loaded already? Yeah! Yeah, uh, they're not gonna last that much longer. I have a feeling they won't last that much longer. Look how slow the galleon is. So slow. Ooh. But the galleons have incredibly high uh, firepower and uh, a, a good amount of soldiers. So really, the galleons in this game are good in the beginning before you get like your fourth raids, even your fifth raids will come at the same time. But the Galleons are incredibly good defensive, defensively. So for the Portuguese campaign, it's great because you really just want to take over the trade nodes and hold your ground. So these ships are very good scaring off like smaller threats and actually dealing with them because the pirates will attack a lot. their ship their ship's doing okay they didn't matter like, it's not like a completely easy fight even though it's taking longer than it should it's not a necessarily easy fight all right we'll remaneuver as soon as we get into range again because they are using it they are using support. This is what they know about having like bigger, stronger ships. It's just the maneuverability really stops you from like getting results as quickly as you can. That's why it's important to have balanced fleets in the game, which is something I'm uh, 
really learning now in some of my campaigns that I'm doing in my free time. Let's go. I, I, oh man, I, like if you guys, you guys, if you guys seen the campaign, you know how much I love naval fights, even in that like limited like uh, ship numbers and and types. So imagine me like in this game. I I I I, I am like I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Try to break their sail. This has gone too long. We'll keep them in sight like this because the wind is that way. So next fire, next time we do a broadside, hopefully we'll break one of the masts, and then we can just get in close, maybe board them or just sink. Man, absolutely freaking love this. Oh wait. side let them give one shot we really want to break their sails because they're just maneuvering around this it's getting annoying we need to destroy this ship now they seem to be finally breaking a bit just wait another come on another broadside. side Give them help. Break the sails. Break it! Yes! Okay. There you have it, guys. So, this will be the first episode. Things in the format might change. Please give me all your suggestions on what you prefer to see. And, uh... I'm glad to be bringing more types of videos to the channel now that the whole hard drive thing has been started for now and slowly and steady I'll, st I'll keep like upgrading and buying stuff to improve the channel and the quality of everything. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this first Empire Total War Naval 1v1s playing with Dart Mod. So thank you very much for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed and see you guys next time.